Hi everyone, this is Maria's Budgeting. Welcome back to my channel. If you're returning, and welcome if you are new. So today I will be doing my cash envelope and sinking fund stuffing for the first paycheck of November. So today I will be stuffing a total of $1,197. So here I have my money in this pouch. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and count it. So let's go ahead and get started. I have 100, 200. 5300 5400 5500 20 40 60 80 600 20 40 60 80 700 20 40 60 80 800 20 40 60 80 900 20 40 60 80 1000 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, and 97. So that is $1,197 that I'm going to go ahead and stuff today. So first, um, I do want to say that I do have a new wallet, which is this one here. It's the Moterm um, A7 binder. Um, I used to have this one, or I still do have this one in the pebble pink, I believe, but this one is a lilac color, so this is what it looks like. And I did make myself some cash envelopes, which again, I am thinking about opening an Etsy shop, or I will open an Etsy shop, and this is going to be one of the designs. So this is what it looks like, and I do have some rollover money, or yeah, rollover money um, that I'm going to be taking out right now. Um, this one's a little bit different than the one that I had because the um, card holders or the card slots didn't look like this. Um, so it is a little bit different than the other uh, Moterm planner that I have. So let me go ahead and unstuff. So first I have gas and gas has 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. I'm going to place this to the side. But I have 48 and I have grocery money as well so 16 so in total I have $64 going into my saving challenges so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by um, stuffing these cash envelopes and just to make it a little bit easier I'm actually gonna take them out um, for this video just to make it a little bit easier so first I do have dates and for dates I am going to add $40 so that's just going to be two $20 bills so 20 and 40 I'm going to put that right here moving on to fun fun is going to get a $20 bill Next I have gas, and gas is going to get 100, so four $20 bills. I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Next I have groceries, and groceries is going to get 80, and that is also going to be $20 bills. So 20, 40, 60, and 80. Miscellaneous is next, and miscellaneous is going to get a $10 bill. Moving on to restaurants, restaurants is going to get 10. And last one is spending and spending is gonna get a $20 bill. And I'm not ac actually sure if um, taking the envelopes out of the planner was um, better or not, but Let's go ahead and place them back in the planner. P 
planner or wallet. Sometimes I say planner, sometimes I say wallet. So it's just that since it's new, it doesn't stay flat. All right, that's why I thought it would be easier to take the envelopes out. Okay, so just a little flip through of the envelopes. There we go. So we are all set. I'm gonna put that to the side and I'm going to move on to the pink binder. So first, this is my rent envelope and I'm going to add 125. So let me add that here. So I have 100, 200, 20, 40, 45, and 50. Next we have Verizon, which is going to get 55. So 55. And there we go. We are all set with this. I did condense my envelopes. If you guys wanna check that video out, I'm gonna leave it on the cards above. Um, but you guys will see that I have bigger bills in these envelopes, so I do have less bills since I did condense. Um, so therefore I do have larger bills in these envelopes. Um, so for Adventures, which is my, uh, my sinking funds, I am going to add 20. So we have 30 and it is going to be easier along with faster to count these envelopes because there's less bills in them. Moving on to Beauty. Beauty is going to get 35. So 20, 30 and five. So I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65 and 70 in Beauty. Moving on to birthdays, it's going to get $50. So I have 150. Business is going to get a $20 bill. Car insurance, um, I will go ahead and count, but my dad didn't let me pay him for the car insurance, so I'm going to save this money for next year, um, and there might be a possibility that I'm actually going to take over my boyfriend's car loan, and that car is going to stay for me, so I'm pretty much just taking over the loan. That is a possibility um, that might happen. So if I do end up getting his car, um, since it's a newer car, um, the insurance is going to be a little bit higher. So I am going to have to save a little bit more for next year. So I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 50, 600, 50, 700, 50, 800, 50, 900, 50, 1000, 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, and 60. So 1,360 and I actually will take that back. So it, it wouldn't be for next year. If I end up taking my boyfriend's car, I will have to pay the insurance because he does pay monthly. Therefore, if I take the car, I will have to either start paying monthly or I will um, have to pay the one year premium. Car maintenance is going to be getting, I believe $20, yes, 20. Um, so. Here I have 100, 200, 300, and 20. But the reason why I might end up taking my boyfriend's car, um, he doesn't really want a car loan anymore, and I really do like that car. And the car that I currently have, my parents might be taking it to Mexico um, here in a couple months. So they will not be taking it just for the vacation. They will be taking it and 
leaving it over there permanently. If they end up taking my car to Mexico, I will have to find another vehicle, which again, my boyfriend wants to get rid of his car loan. So he was thinking about either um, selling it back to the dealership um, or me taking it over will work perfectly as well. So um, car tags is going to get $10. So for right now, I'm just pretty much saving for my car tags with my current car. Again, if I end up taking my boyfriend's car, the car tags, instead of it being $200, are going to be about $400. So I will have to save more for this. Um, I don't think I counted car tags, but if I didn't, um, it does have 60 Christmas, I will go ahead and count, but I had reached my $1,000 goal. Um, I did use a little bit, so I have 550, 600, 50, 700, 50, 800, 50, 900, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So 909. And I also wanted to let you guys know if you guys watch my weekly check-ins, um, I still haven't received my stickers from RowenaRosa.com um, and therefore I wasn't able to record my first weekly check-in for the month of November. I was going to combine the fifth weekly check-in from October and the first weekly check-in for November because that combined was about seven days, which is a week, um, but I still haven't received my stickers and it's already November 12th, so I did order my December stickers from her as well, but honestly, I don't think I will be ordering from her again just because to get her stickers, it takes really a long time and I would really like to have them at the beginning of the month. Um, so yeah, I, although I really like her stickers, I think in the future, I'm just going to really have to think about whether I want to wait for those stickers or if I'd rather just order from someone else. Unfortunately, I probably will have to start ordering from someone else. Um, clothing is going to get $10 and this is going to have $70 now. Um, and don't get me wrong, wrong, I really love her stickers, but they just take too long to get to me. Electronics is going to get eight, five, six, seven, and eight. Electronics now has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Emergency fund. Is going to get the usual 50 so it has 1,000 2,000 in the bank and $50 family fun is going to get 15 so 10 and 5 so Family Fund now has 50, 60, 70, 75, and 80. Fortnite Tuesdays is going to get a $5 bill. So we have 20, 30, 35, and 40. All right, so we're all done with this binder. Moving on to the second one, we are going to start off with holidays. And holidays is going to get 15. Holidays now has 100, 20, 30, 40, 45, and 50. Moving on to home, home is also getting 15, so 10 and 5, so home now has 
100, 20, 30, 40, 45, and 150. Household is going to get a $5 bill. Household now has 20, 30, 35, and 40. Investing is going to get 17. So 10, 15, 16, and 17. So investing now has 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Moving on to medical. Medical is going to get a $20 bill. So medical now has 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, and 350. Moving on to new car. New car is going to get a $5 bill. New car now has 100, 200, 300, 5, 6, and 7. And I know that in one of the comments, someone asked me what year this is, and it says series um, 1969. So I think that's a year. Moving on to school. School is going to get 60. So 50 and a 10. Okay, so new school now has 3,500 in the bank, 50, 70, and 80. So um, 3,500 and 80. Okay. Toiletries is next, and it is going to get a $10 bill. So toiletries now has 20, 30, and 40. And vacation is going to get 45. So 20, 40, and 45. So vacation now has 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 70, and 75. And I did mention that I was planning on maybe going to Mexico in December for Christmas, but I don't think that will be happening because the tickets are too expensive now. They're about $1,000 and I am not willing to pay $1,000 for a week. Um, I was willing to pay $700, which is only like a $300 difference, but $1,000 I think is a little excessive for a week. Um, so I don't think I will be flying out there. Um, and again, if my parents do obviously take the vehicle, my car to Mexico, um, that's like a three hour, I mean, sorry, not three hour, three day trip um, to get over there. So I don't have that time to go um, to Mexico in a car either. So um, yeah, that's that. Now I'm going to move on to my 100 envelope challenge box. Before I do that, um, I am going to stuff my savings because I completely forgot about that. Um, so here is my savings and I will be adding $121 to it. So $120 and $1. Okay, so savings now has 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 in the bank, 100, 250, 70, 90, 110, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So $7,214 in savings. Here are the last 100 envelope challenge envelopes that I need to complete. 
Um, today I am stuffing 89 and 98. So I just realized on my cash breakdown that I have to the side that instead of putting 98 on my cash breakdown, I put 92. So I am going to miss or I am missing um, $6. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab those really quick. I do have some money in the side that I have to make change and this money has to go back to the bank anyways. Um, and therefore, since those $7 are still sitting in my bank account, or no, is it six? Yes, yeah, $6. Those $6 are still um, sitting in my bank account, so they're compensating for the money that I'm taking out right here. So we are all good. There are the $6 that I am missing, and I'm just going to add them right here. So let's start off with 89. So 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, and 89. Let me count this one more time. 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. All good. So I also did want to mention, um, because last video, I feel like I made it seem like I was finishing this box in a year. And I just want to let you guys know that I am not finishing this box in a year. It take me it took me more than a year um, because I believe I made this box maybe in like September or October. I'm not exactly sure when I made this box, but it is now December and I started it last year. Therefore, this box is taking me more than a year and I want to let you guys know that it is completely okay if you're not able to finish a challenge in the time frame that you wanted to. It is completely fine. Now we're going to step 98. So 50, 70, 80, 5, 6, 7, and 8. But this is a really intense challenge to do. I will tell you guys that. I feel like the 100 envelope challenge is really tough, but I don't know. I would really recommend everyone to just give it a try. You don't have to finish it if you can't, but just go ahead and give it a try. I really would recommend it. Um, so I only have three more envelopes left, which is 84, 93, and 91. I don't know if I will be completing this challenge this month with the second paycheck of November, but um, if I do, I would have to stuff a total of 268 dollars. And honestly, I think I might give it a shot. I think I'm going to try to just complete this challenge next paycheck, but we will see in the next video. Um, now I have this money, which is from the rollover. So again, we have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we have 64. I'm going to add that to the tray. And we are going to bring out the blue binder. So first we are stuffing the $5 challenge and we have 10. I am just going to go ahead and add it. We're not going to count till the end of the year. Um, one dollar challenge. We're going to add one, two, three, and four. And again, we're just going to stuff and we are not going to count. Now we have 10, 20, 40, and 10, so 50. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and scratch one of these off. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Hopefully it's not too bad. And I'm going to scratch it off with the end of this. I think that should be okay. Um, I'm going to do, let's do this one. 25, okay. Okay, so I'm going to switch a 10 and two fives for a 20. And I'm going to add 25 to this challenge, which is a $500 scratch off challenge by Sam Crafts and Customs. So 20, 
five. So let's see, we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. Is that right? 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 65. Hopefully I counted that right. So 365. Okay. And honestly, probably just to be on the safe side, I'm just going to add $15 to here. Yeah, we will go ahead and do that. Oh no, it'll be 25. Yeah, even at that, I think I might just add it to this challenge. Yeah, I will go ahead and do that. So I'm going to do the 20 right here. and then a five right here this is really ugly coloring but it's okay so we have 20 and 5 and this is to um, have a buffer in my checkings just to be able to make change comfortably um, so this is just a buffer that I want to have in my checkings and I really would like to finish it by the end of this year. But honestly, I am not sure if I will be able to do that. So let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So 79. We are quite close to 100, but not quite there yet. And well, that is all for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.